everyone, it's Jay with Stiletto Media Group. This vidbit will help you create your Google sitemap and then submit it to Google. A Google sitemap is a great way to make sure Google knows about your site and is able to crawl all of your main pages. It's very easy to create a sitemap and even easier to submit it. And as you already know, if you have any questions about this vidbit, please don't hesitate to contact me at www dot stilettomediagroup.com. Okay, let's get started. The first step in this process is to create the sitemap, and you can do that by navigating to a free XML sitemap generator at www.xml-sitemaps.com. And I have it pulled up right here. Now, the one thing you need to know about this sitemap generator is that it only allows you to create a sitemap for websites that have 500 pages or less. So keep that in mind. If you have a larger sitemap, I'm sorry, a, large, a larger website, you may need to use one of the other code generated um, sitemap creation tools and you can usually find those on Google just by googling sitemap creation. Okay, we're going to start by putting in the URL here. I suggest not doing it with the www. This website does not always accept the www. Here you have the change frequency. This is asking how frequently does your website change. If you have a static website, then it may only change about once or twice a month. However, if your website is connected to a blog and you want to make sure that your blog posts are added in the sitemap, you'll want to choose daily. And if you blog even more often, you may want to choose hourly. But for this example, we're going to use daily. Last modification. Unless you know the exact date and time that your website was last modified, I would go with using Use Server's Response. And the last setting is the priority. And since it's free, we're going to go ahead and generate it now by using Automatic Priority. And then we'll click Start. Now this process takes quite a long time, and I've already had it running in the background, and it's created one right here. Now, there are two different types of sitemaps. You can download the uncompressed XML sitemap or download the compressed XML sitemap. I suggest downloading the uncompressed sitemap onto your hard drive and then saving it as sitemap.xml. You'll need to refer to it in just a second. Next, we'll go over to our Google Webmaster Tools. Now, I've created another vid bit on um, using Google Webmaster Tools and setting up your Google Webmaster Tools, and you can find that by searching Google Webmaster Tools on my website at www.stilettomediagroup.com. After you've downloaded your sitemap, you will need to upload it to your server, um, the area where all of your other website pages and files are located. And you're going to upload it so that the file name is, as I stated before, sitemap.xml. After you have that uploaded, to submit it to Google, it's very simple. You see here you have your URL, and then you will just type sitemap.xml, the same as you added to your web server. And then you would cl click Submit Sitemap. If for any reason Google does not accept your sitemap, or you're having problems creating your sitemap, feel free to contact me at www.stilettomediagroup.com dot com and I can troubleshoot it for you. 